Good afternoon. So we just finished Bianca's vanity completely and yes. we wanted to show it to you. Yes, it's finally complete. I got my beautiful vanity mirror. I also got a protector for the actual desk itself. I got this off of Amazon. Love that. It's like perfect. You might see some streaking because I just wiped it down with the Lysol wipe. Mm -hmm. And I also got this beautiful Hollywood type glamour vanity mirror. It's very nice. <laughs> off of Amazon as well. If I can find links, if you're interested, let me know and then I can link it down below in the description. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's pretty much complete. I think I just need like a new chair because I, yeah. I actually took this from my daughter's room. So this is her. Well, didn't chair. you want that Hello Kitty one that you've been seeing? I did. It was like trending for a while on TikTok. It was like like a cute pink Hello Kitty chair that was sold at TJ Maxx. I went to two. Can't find it. Can't find them anywhere. So <laughs> I guess the trend definitely is either gone or I don't, can't find that chair anywhere. We but. also need to find you some artwork too. Some more artwork. And yeah, I have this beautiful piece. I love that. This one was from Z Gallery. It took us about two days to build this, maybe yeah, three. Give or take because it wasn't <laughs> a priority because I didn't have yeah. the mirror yet. We've had a million and one things going on. Oh my goodness. But now I think it's going to settle down, right? <laughs> Absolutely. October is going to be a slow month. Well, not slow, but mm -hmm. we're not traveling. We're yes. going to catch up on a lot and do what we got to do and decorate make... our home. Exactly. For Halloween, we've got some new <laughs> furniture coming. Yes. So some of the drawers are not some of them are empty because I don't have everything fully stocked I'm still working on that mm -hmm. so like right here you judge. remember we got that from Ikea those little oh, oh holders my gosh. I remember yes so this is like all my lip products I have my eyelash curler in here and then my brushes I did put towels down because I didn't want anything to get dirty but these are all my makeup brushes that I've had through the years hair brushes Fun stuff. All that stuff. I have my Dyson down here, my tried and true. And this drawer is my face products mostly. I have my Forever Christian Dior Forever Flash Foundation. This is my favorite tried and true. And then I love my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I need to get a new one though. And I also, these are my new ones that I just got the Rare Beauty <laughs> blush and the Fenty I promise, contour we're stick. I'm not turning into a makeup channel. <laughs> no, 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 I just wanted to show off a Bianca few little things. Bianca is very things. excited about this. And then on this one, I have like all my skincare. I've got my water globes and my the makeup remover wipes. I really like when Bianca will use the globes on me. Yes, and this is like my favorite Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado. Oh my God, it does wonders for the eyes. And that's pretty much it, what I have in my drawers for now. I know through the years, I'm sure I'll stock up. I'm not in a rush to stock every drawer mm -hmm. because I'm very simple. I like simple makeup. Now, let me ask you guys this. We've been brainstorming mm -hmm. a lot since California of just, <laughs> I guess, the direction of the channel. Yes. And I would love if maybe once a week or once a month or every other week, Bianca will pick up the camera <laughs> and been do that. a vlog. Know from Bianca's point of view, I mean, I'm still going to be present, yes. but it's just not going, the focus will not be on me. It will be on you and what you want to do, like makeup and view, stuff. If the viewers want to see it, I will give it. Let us know <laughs> down in the comments below. Also, I wanted to point out that the mirror has three different settings. Oh yeah. So every, if I press the M button, it has different settings of the lights, if you can notice. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. This oh yeah. This one's more warm. This one's more blue. I think there's four. Ish this one's settings. brighter. There's three, and then I can dim it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It. Very Good stuff. Very pretty, yep. And then it. you can charge, too. There's USB ports right yes, over here. Yes, I love that. Oh, and I have my YSL perfume, my favorite perfume ever. And then I have this little mirror just for, like, close-ups, like mascara and, like, you know, stuff like that. What a way to start the vlog. <laughs> Had to show you guys because I know we saw a few comments that wanted to know more in depth. So, mm -hmm. well, hello. <laughs> I hope you all are having an awesome, fantastic day, and welcome back to another home vlog. Yes, we're back home in Orlando. We got back from California a little over a week ago. Mm -hmm. Such a fun trip, but it was a whirlwind. Yeah, it was non stop. We were doing something every single day except one day when we got to relax mm, at the Grand Californian. Which, by the way, is a really beautiful hotel. Yeah, that it's was so nice. It's so nice. If you can't um, get like a room or anything, like a reservation there, at least stop by when you're in Disneyland. Mm, go have a drink. so nice. Go get a snack. Yeah. Just walk around. <laughs> Very nice. However, I think I still like the Disneyland hotel a little Me bit too. more. Me too. I was actually missing the Disneyland hotel because it's 
nostalgic. I would agree. We also went to Jazz Kitchen. I know that wasn't showed in the video, but on I Patreon. put that up for Patreon. <laughs> you guys saw like a bonus video. By the way, if you want to support the channel a little extra, check out my Patreon. Um, we do some fun stuff on there. Yes. But yeah, we went to Jazz Kitchen. It was just a fun trip, but mm -hmm. we did something every day. We made a lot of content. We had a ton of fun, but it was exhausting. And we're back. Mm -hmm. I think we are done traveling for <laughs> at least a month. I think we're going to take the month of October to just kind of sit back, regroup, mm -hmm. yeah. think of some new ideas and kind of just venture out yeah. Like we're doing here with these lifestyle-ish yeah. videos, which I have missed, by the way. <laughs> Me have you? too. Me too. I love it. They're so chill. And I know a lot of you enjoy them. Mm -hmm. But today, we have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot. <laughs> we need groceries. We have mm -hmm. to go to Sam's. I need to go to the fish store because I left my fish tank for about, five, was it five days? Five, six days? We went to California. Yeah. And I thought I contained the algae issue then i got back and the algae issue was back so it's like an outbreak <laughs> it's not a bad good times. thing but i know you want to buy a whole new filter now because yeah. of that yeah i'm going to get a really it's big expensive. and powerful <laughs> it is expensive filter for the fish tank i just need to move the water a lot faster and yes. then i will eventually get a bigger tank yeah what else do we have to do? And then I would really like to bake. I know we do cooking. Baking with Bianca? <laughs> I know we do cooking segments, but today we're gonna bake. I wanna bake a pumpkin loaf, like the Starbucks Ooh. copycat recipe. Please. I mean, why not, right? We're in the season. Yeah. That's <laughs> so. our favorite thing to get when we go to Starbucks. It really is. We get it warmed up and we split it and it's so delicious with your pumpkin coffee. Ooh, speaking of Starbucks, I know we do it. In just about every gosh, home vlog. I know. I talk about that. I'm like, gosh, we really do go to Starbucks. We really don't go to Starbucks a lot. No. I think we do it more for the vlog because it's Because we're out. It's cute. We're out. Why not? But we really do just drink coffee from home. Yeah. Honestly, guys, when we're not filming, mm -hmm. we're home. We're home. We're just home. relaxing. and Cooking meals. Doing family <laughs> stuff. And, you know, we've really made this home our home and I love it. I am ready for a new couch though. I think that's going to be our Christmas oh, gift. Oh my gosh, yes. We've had couch. this couch for a few years mm -hmm. and it, it's time. I don't know, it's just, it's just time for, we need an elevated one, a nicer yeah. one. We spend a lot of time in the living room. Yes. When's a good time to buy a new couch? Like Black no Friday, idea. Christmas time, Maybe. Labor Day? And where? Like yeah, where? where? We got this one in Ashley's furniture, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, who knows? I, I wanna look into, what is it, a, a love? Sack. sack. We saw that at Millennium. No, there's one in Winter Park, I think now. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Hmm. I have to go check it out. Let's go ahead and get this day started. I know we've kind of dragged our feet in the <laughs> beginning, but that's just kind of what we've been doing this past week. We've been mm -hmm. relaxing and just trying to re-energize. Yeah, because three hour time difference. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's Especially rough. Especially me with a chronic condition. Mm -hmm. it, it was It was really hard for me when I came back home. I could not sleep. It was like 4.30 in the morning. I was still up. You remember Hawaii? Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That Hawaii was harder messed us up for a while. Me. That was so... It was like a good month where I could get back on like yeah. Eastern time and sleep normally. Good time. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I hope you guys are. Let's, Let's go, go do this. this. Really quick, here's the fish tank. The light has not turned on for the day just yet, but I wanted to show you down here is where I have my filtration and I'm going to get a bigger canister filter. Just, I just need a more powerful filter and that's what I'm going to do. And then when I switch over to a bigger fish tank, I will already have the proper filtration. All right, we finally made it in the car. Our first stop is going to be Sam's Club. We have never been to Sam's on a Saturday. I know. What are we getting ourselves into? We just entered Sam's Club and look right at the front, all the fall stuff. Oh, I like this wreath. Happy Halloween. Got some treats, some more treats. You have to stay away from the <laughs> Halloween treats. And the candy. Oh, they're pumpkins. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, look at the Alani's. Alani's. Witches I've, Brew? I wanted to try this one. I think it came out last year. I don't know. Should we get one? I'd rather just buy one uh -huh. first and try it. Oh, the pumpkins. Who's ready to carve a pumpkin this year, huh? 
We gotta do it. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. Stay tuned. Honestly, Sam's Club is not that bad right now. It's just about 2 p.m. Not that bad. I was worried for no reason. That's wild. There's nobody driving. What? Sam's Club finally has this? I have been looking for this everywhere. I'm so glad. I found it. You yes. found it. <laughs> also, look. What? Buffalo Trace seasoning. No. What? Stop. Let me focus it. I may have what? to bust out the Blackstone now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, well, hello again. I feel like oh, no. it's following oh, no. us. Anyway. Should I just buy this? That's cheating. <laughs> what a bargain for these trash bags. $15 for 90 bags? I don't know if it's just our Sam's or maybe all Sam's clubs around the US, but they're not really doing samples anymore. I, I know, guess that's Saturday just a too. Costco thing. Yeah, it's Saturday. Hmm. This is everything that we are getting from Sam's as I'm about to use our favorite, Scan and Go. <laughs> We're not getting anything cold because we have so many more stops on today's adventure we just got the necessities we needed our medium roast starbucks coffee yep. some gatorades trash bags zip logs we got mouthwash protein shakes bear life i think water's down there can't forget the cinnamon dust <laughs> what the heck we're here at starbucks and they're out of pumpkin i know that's like the second time this season we've came to a starbucks and they have been completely I guess out it's of pumpkin. just that popular I guess so. We may do. We're still here. We're getting coffee, <laughs> getting a snack. Getting my iced Americano. That's the best for like around 3 p.m. if you need like a Those are very <laughs> good. I just got a black iced, iced coffee. coffee yeah. I know I haven't really been doing much Tesla talk lately. We will be getting back to that soon, I promise. <laughs> I'm using FSD right now and I'm able to enjoy my sandwich and drink my coffee hands free. <laughs> This is worth having a Tesla right here, man. <laughs> wow. Also, I wanted to mention, I have sold five Teslas wow. from you guys who are viewers of the channel and you use my referral code. If you are interested in anything Tesla, I will leave my code down below. Please use it because it not only helps you out to save money, it helps me out as well. I'm honestly in love with my Model Y performance. He really is. <laughs> Back at the fish store and they have a snowflake eel right there. So many little dories, blue hippo tangs. I have been seeing so many Teslas around Orlando. Oh, it makes me goodness. so happy to see. There's so many EVs. Now there's Rivians. We're seeing yeah. Rivians I've more. been seeing a few Rivians. Yeah. I don't really... They just look like an average car. Yeah. There's nothing too special. I would much rather have a Tesla, but I've been seeing threes, not as many Ys, <laughs> and then I've been seeing a lot of Xs. And that's the next car. Yeah, that's the only car I would even consider upgrading to is a Tesla Model X. Okay, we are now back in Winter Park. Yes. We are doing some shopping. I think our first stop is Home Goods. Of course. Your favorite? It's my favorite store ever. What do we need? Halloween decorations possibly in? Yes, we need like a big mixing bowl and then okay. maybe a more measuring cups. We do need measuring cups. And then I'm going to go over to Petco to potentially buy my new filter. I'm really enjoying all of the Florida Halloween decor here. Uh oh. For the front door. Oh yeah. That's nice. They have a lot. If you have a home goods near you, you should go because they have some great stuff. Jeez, Christmas already? It's coming. This is what we are getting. Yes, we have a loaf pan. We have some bag clips. We really needed these. Yeah. The measuring bowl and a cookie sheet. It's very pretty. Didn't really find any Halloween decorations yeah. that caught our attention here. We are now here at Petco and the tanks are 50% off. They have a 75 gallon. That's nice. And a 55 gallon. This is the canister filter that I've been looking at. This one right here. This one's good too, but I've been using this brand pretty much the entire time I've been doing this saltwater reef hobby. It is dinner time. We were in the area, so we stopped here at Bento because I really like the fried rice here. Bianca loves the sushi, and we're doing something that I never thought we would be doing I know. right now for dinner. You ordered sushi. I did. Bianca put me on to the... What Mexican roll or Mex roll? Mex Tex roll, something like that. <laughs> I'm very new to the sushi game, but yeah, we're eating sushi. It's our first sushi date ever. I think. Yay! Baby more to come in the future. Definitely. <laughs> Finally, I got him to eat sushi. Hey, 
I've it's been missing out. <laughs> Here at Bento, they're doing a two for 10. So we each got an order of sushi, the Mexican roll, and then we got pork egg rolls, and then Dev got a green boba tea, tea mango. mango. <laughs> With lychee boba. Ooh, that sounds so good. I cannot wait to dive in. Let's do it. Woo! That was delicious. Yes, we're nice and full. I cannot believe I have not eaten sushi all of my life I know. up until now and i'm almost 30. <laughs> well Oof. your palate matures as you age so honestly i've eaten so many new things because of bianca which i really appreciate of course but bento, at heart. <laughs> she is bento's amazing if you have one near you go check it out yes. it's made to order it is just about golden hour i wanted to mention because it's happened to me twice where we go grocery shopping by the way we just left Walmart but there's been two times that I've left the sodas or the waters that I purchase <laughs> you know below the cart I leave them and I take the cart back and I just you completely space yeah, yeah. I, it's happened to me twice <laughs> so now every time we go to the grocery store and buy sodas and water I always double check just to make sure absolutely <laughs> check your cart twice yeah but we're going home now you ready to bake? I'm ready to bake. We started to add pumpkins to the kitchen to we get did. in that Halloween fall season. Your daughter How made cute. this one. She sure did. Isn't that adorable? Yes, it and is. And then I actually got these little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has some great they holiday do. stuff. I love a good little cute find like that. And then we got these cute little plates. They came together at the Target dollar section mm. for like $3. We put our soaps on it. White pumpkin. White pumpkin smells so good. Dawn, this is the best. We <laughs> use Dawn ever. surprise. <laughs> and then we got these cute little canisters from Home Goods. Mm -hmm. Very cute Snoopy theme. And yeah. Oh, and also look, our oven mitts. Oh yeah. Mickey and Minnie. Got some kitchen towels some too. Towel. I gotta fix it because it's a little messy, but here's a quick look at the fish tank as I'm about to perform pretty big water change to try to get rid of this disgusting brown algae. That's my current filter and the heater, which I'm about to replace here in just a second. By the way, the bird's nest coral is doing a lot better, but we can see some of that sea here on the coral that I am trying to get rid of. I did buy some new snails. For some reason, this coral isn't doing that well now. I don't know what happened. I do know my phosphate is a little high, not crazy high, but it is high. But this water change will help that situation. And then I'm going to put my new canister filter on, perform this water change and get things rolling here. I did buy this, which I'm going to put inside of the filter. Not only will this help clean the water a lot faster and more efficient, but this will also help me with my phosphate issue. Also, since my last fish tank update, unfortunately, I have lost two fish. My dotty back, Violet, she passed when I got back from California. And then two days later, my six line wrasse, she passed. Crazy thing is my six line wrasse actually jumped out of the tank and I found her that next morning on the floor. You know, it's crazy because I have the top covered, but there is like a little gap towards the back of the tank where the filter and the heater is. That's where she must have jumped out at. Don't really know. I thought that was very unusual, but yeah, I have a lot of work that I need to do with this reef tank right now. It's still a very healthy tank, don't get me wrong. You know, you're taking care of your own natural ocean in your living room, so you have to keep all of the levels where they need to be, and right now my phosphate is a little high. That's why it's very hard to have any animals when you're someone like us who, you know, we do travel a good amount, but it is what it is but I'm going to fix it up and get this tank back where it needs to be. So this is how I'm going to try to get rid of this annoying algae hair that I'm seeing around my tank. I have my hose here and this is how I perform my water change. I'm going to do the water change and as I'm getting the water out, I'm going to get very close to the algae hair and I'm just going to pull it with my finger here while the algae gets into the hose here. I think that should work, we'll see. Here's a closer look at the algae hair that I'm talking about. I just started noticing this when we got back from California, so I'm trying to nip it in the bud early. This is how I do my water changes. I go around 
in the sand. You see that? That's the poop and stuff that we want out of the tank. All right, so we're starting the pumpkin loaf recipe. The first thing we're starting with is three large eggs, one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, two third a cup of sunflower oil or any mild flavored oil, one cup of sugar. We have a half a cup of light brown sugar that's packed, two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of the baking soda, one, excuse me, three-fourths a quarter a teaspoon of baking powder, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, <laughs> <laughs> and one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna put the dry ingredients in a separate bowl, hence this, and I'm gonna sift it, and then I'm gonna add it to the wet ingredients. And then we have the pumpkin seeds. The pepitas, I think that's what they're called. We're gonna use this as a topping on the loaf. It's gonna be yeah. so yummy. I mixed all of the wet ingredients along with all the spices in here. It smells so good. I'm gonna add the wet mixture into the KitchenAid and then I'm going to sift the flour into it to make that loaf batter mixture. I sifted the flour and now I'm going to add in the pumpkin. Oh, is that the new bowl we got at Home Goods? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm so excited we got this. We needed this. I love to bake. Okay. I'm not gonna over mix it. I'm just gonna do it very slowly. Doesn't this smell good, babe? It smells very good. <laughs> it smells like the holidays. I know. Look at that. Yummy goodness. There it goes. All right, I transferred the pumpkin batter into two loaf pans and now we're going to put it inside the oven under 350 degrees for roughly about 50 to 55 minutes and i'm going to check it at the 40 or 45 minute mark just to see if it's baking all the way through about 30 minutes later bianca is still in the kitchen doing her thing but i was able to get a good amount of the algae hair off of the rock it took a lot of work it wasn't coming off at first but i did have to cheat just a little bit and I don't recommend you do this unless you know what you're doing, but I did have to scrub the rock just a little bit, and I was scrubbing in this water here, which is the used fish water that I got from the water change, and I was able to scrub the algae off, the algae that wasn't coming off, but it's looking good. We're getting, getting it done here. I am all done cleaning and updating my fish tank. I think it looks great. I love the new filter. I love the flow. It's more powerful, it's more efficient, and it's already making the water super clear. And it's only been on for maybe 40 minutes. And then that's it right down here. That's my new setup. I did purchase five new snails. There they are right there. And then I also took out one of the wave makers just because I now have even more flow coming from the filter. I still have this one, which I may update this wave maker coming up. That way I can control it off of my phone, but yeah, I'm very happy. Oh, and we finished watching Hijack on Apple TV Plus. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting that series to us. Fantastic series. We did watch that before going out to California. Fun times, and now we are watching season three of The Morning Show on Apple TV Plus, and we are now all caught up on Chucky, which is streaming on Peacock because of HHN. I finally understand the TV series now, so I'm looking forward to going back through that house the next time we go out to Halloween Horror Nights. And just like that, 45 minutes later, the pumpkin loaves are completed. I am so excited to try this, but we do need to let them cool off first. Yeah, they smell great. I can't wait to see what this bread tastes like. I know. Because it looks good. <laughs> it's a copycat recipe from Starbucks, so mm -hmm. let's see if it holds up. I cut into the pumpkin bread and look at that Perfection. deliciousness. Oh my goodness, it tastes just like Starbucks. Yeah, we just had some. A little, t a little taste. Very good. Let's go ahead and cut another slice. Look it's pretty much identical yeah. to Starbucks. Really delicious. Well, what did you think? I really did enjoy this recipe. It was just that, a copycat Starbucks pumpkin loaf recipe. Delicious. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. I can't wait to see what she makes next because <laughs> I think you've been really enjoying cooking or baking with Bianca. I do. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm. I just remembered we have some leftover sushi in the fridge. That's what Ooh. I'm about to enjoy. <laughs> but that's it. That's our Sunday home vlog. Yeah. 
It was a good time. Chill. I'm glad that we're back to normal. Yes. Expect <laughs> a home vlog every Sunday. And we have some fun stuff coming up. Again, the month of October. We're just going to test out new ideas and experiment and, you know, see what we can create because that's what October is going to be all about is stepping out of our comfort zone, just Absolutely. like we are doing for these home vlogs. But thank you for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. We love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming and Bianca. Bye.